Evening, June 11th. There break he the arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword, and the battle. Psalm 76, verse 3. Our Redeemer's glorious cry of, It is finished, was the death knell of all the adversaries of his people, the breaking of the arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword, and the battle. Behold, the hero of Golgotha, using his cross as an anvil, and his woes as a hammer, dashing to shivers bundle after bundle of our sins, those poisoned arrows of the bow, trampling on every indictment, and destroying every accusation. What glorious blows the mighty breaker gives with a hammer far more ponderous than the fabled weapon of Thor! How the diabolical darts fly to fragments, and the infernal bucklers are broken like potter's vessels! Behold, he draws from its sheath of hellish workmanship the dread sword of satanic power. He snaps it across his knee as a man breaks the dry wood of a faggot, and casts it into the fire. Beloved, no sin of a believer can now be an arrow mortally to wound him, no condemnation can now be a sword to kill him, for the punishment of our sin was borne by Christ, a full atonement was made for all our iniquities by our blessed substitute and surety. Who now accuseth? Who now condemneth? Christ hath died, yea, rather, hath risen again. Jesus has emptied the quivers of hell, has quenched every fiery dart, and broken off the head of every arrow of wrath. The ground is strewn with the splinters and relics of the weapons of hell's warfare, which are only visible to us to remind us of our former danger and of our great deliverance. Sin hath no more dominion over us. Jesus has made an end of it and put it away forever. O oh, thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end. Talk ye of the wondrous works of the Lord, ye who make mention of his name. Keep not silence, neither by day, nor when the sun goeth to his rest. Bless the Lord, O my soul.